Welcome back to County Board Wrap Up. We're talking today about the various efforts the board took to help during this COVID-19 pandemic. And a big part of that, as we've been discussing, was the effect on Arlington's business community, specifically our small businesses. And now the county's stepping in with the Small Business Emergency Grant Program. Let's talk a little bit about this. Christian, we'll start with you. Tell us why the county decided to establish this grant program and what's the goal? Well, you know, uh, there are lots of opportunities that may be available to small businesses who are impacted, but those are largely going through commercial banks and they have huge lead times and uh, not all businesses are eligible. And when we look at the businesses, the some 6,000 small businesses in our community, we know that a number of them need assistance much more quickly and they need it with less red tape. Uh, so uh, thankfully, our Department of Economic Development came up with a way to really in a streamlined fashion uh, determine uh, eligible businesses who would be well qualified to receive a grant so that they could devote those resources into meeting the necessary expenses and hopefully reducing layoffs. And uh, fortunately, the amount of money devoted to the program has grown from around 700,000 to, to over 1.2 million. Uh, and that will help because we've had over uh, a thousand businesses who have applied uh, and we're not going to be able to help out all of them, uh, but hopefully we can uh, su sufficiently and, uh, uh, you know, provide grant funds so that they can keep employees employed. They can uh, assure that they're going to be around when we can reopen as a community and then hopefully we can find more resources to help even more small businesses. Yeah, this was a very um, positive thing for me. I felt when it came up <clears throat> because first our staff came and said, let's repurpose. These were grants for something else for startups. Let's let's put that to helping small businesses. And that was about uh, a little under seven hundred thousand dollars. And, you know, and I thought that's smart. That's innovative. That's great. And then we got IDA funding, I think it was, <clears throat> that came in and got it up to like a million. And I'm thinking, okay, good. And then we had our bids, our business improvement direct put in more and that now we're up to 1.2 million. And it's really a feeling that everybody's kind of seeing what the problem is and everybody's stepping up to help. Um, and that that's a good feeling because there's we all need to be helping each other and help, help get these businesses through. And these were designed specifically for Arlington small businesses. All right. Why was that, would you say? Well, the big guys are much better off, I think. <laughs> You're the economist, Christian. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah, we, we did a survey. Um, Department of Economic Development did a survey, and they looked at businesses, large and small, local, national, and really tried to assess what are their issues and needs and concerns. And we certainly found that the size of the organization is very much uh, correlated to whether or not they've suffered uh, extreme issues during this COVID-related pandemic. So we knew that we wanted to focus on the small businesses, businesses of 50 or less, not the federal government's 500 or less, right? Okay. We're talking true small, small businesses. And you know, it doesn't take a, an economist or a rocket scientist to know that there's so many uh, restaurants and coffee shops, cafes and, and uh, uh, boutiques and tchotchke shops in Arlington that could very much benefit with this critical lifeline of being able to get resources to maybe meet any lease obligations or to to maintain the staff who can allow them to do curbside uh, pickup and and maybe delivery or to just be available for when they're ready to reopen. So uh, we wanted to focus on where the, the money could do the most good. And that is allowing these businesses to uh, to maintain continuity, but more importantly, to not go under when we're ready to reopen. Yeah. And as Christian pointed out at the beginning, a lot of times the companies have to have for the federal money a relationship with the bank, right? It's true. And some of these small businesses, they don't. And they, and they might work it out, but they can't survive that long. So this is, it's a bridge, really. It's mm -hmm. uh, to get us, get us across to the yeah. other side. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds like a perfect note on which to wrap up. Uh, Libby and Christian, thank you both very much for giving us some insight into how the county's responding to the pandemic and when Arlingtonians can start to perhaps see a, a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Uh, I'm Kara O'Donnell. This is County Board Wrap Up. We look forward to joining you again next month with a look at the board's actions in June. Until then, 
stay safe. We'll see you soon.